Hey, what's up? Ian here, and this is the NM20 from NF Acoust. Now, NF Acoust, uh, they used to be NF Audio, and uh, they have recently rebranded, and now they have blossomed into a new company, a new branding called NF Acoust. Congratulations to them, and I wish them the best for the future. So this is the very first uh, model under the new branding, which is the NM20. It's a single dynamic driver IEM. Uh, the overall specifications for this, let me just try to read them out. All right, so the frequency range is 9 to 40,000 hertz, which is really wide. Uh, maximum SPL is 125 dB. Sensitivity is 108 and the impedance is 32 ohms. So a pretty regular specs uh, for these earphones. Now let's check out what's inside this box when you buy it. Uh, first would be, of course, the user guide, right? So this is the user guide with their new branding on it, and you'll get a very nice case. So this is a very nice carrying case. It's small, it's compact, it's got its new logo on it. This is the 8 clef, I think. Uh, inside is fabric. It's got a fabric mesh pocket here for you to put your ear tips and your accessories. Earphone goes in here. The zipper is actually very smooth, right? Very nice hard shell case. Now, you'll also get a quarter inch adapter. Uh, this is usually for your hi-fi system. So if you want to listen to uh, your music from your hi-fi system through these earphones, uh, you will use this adapter, okay? And then you get some ear tips. So you have four different sizes for the ear tips. You have extra small, which is this one right here. Extra small, small, medium, and large. As you can see, medium has been taken out because I'm using the medium. Um, now, ear tips wise, I would say it's a little bit on the shorter stump, right? So this is not your regular uh, tall uh, type of ear tip. So this is more of a shorter stump uh, type of ear tip. It's, it doesn't go right in to your ear, your ear canal. Uh, the inner core is actually quite firm, all right? Uh, outer flange is also quite well built as well. It's not too flimsy and then not too stiff as well. So it's pretty good, okay? So ear tips wise, it's all right, but I've been testing out this EPZ um, ear tips, which is also not bad. It's a little bit on the grippy side and the sticky side, um, but yeah, I'm still testing this out, okay? And of course, you get the uh, cable. So this is the stock cable. It's a four-core cable terminated with a 3.5 headphone jack, a Y split, and a chin slider, okay? Chin slider, right? So, and it's got a ear hooks. Ear hooks is on the more of the stiffer side, I would say it's not so soft, okay? Uh, and it's terminated with a shielded two-pin connector to the IEM itself, okay? All right, so now let's talk about the IEM, the build quality of this and the overall design. I would say this design is actually very hmm, usual, very usual design. Uh, the build quality though is actually very good. Uh, it's got this plastic feel to it. It doesn't feel a resin. And it's got this transparent look to it. It comes in four colors, by the way. Uh, I think it's blue, black, white, and some other color. I think it's purple. I don't know. Uh, but the thing is, this is a blue color. Very nice blue, uh, ocean blue. And uh, even the faceplate has got that same color, uh, as you can see. Uh, and then on top, you do get printed uh, the left and right indication. And of course, the branding as well. Uh, on the inner shell, let me just take up my ear tips. Uh, you will see uh, that it's actually quite uh, flat, right? It's not too contoured, which is good, right? For most of us, you know, uh, it means that this earphone can fit most of our ears. It's just that it's not a perfect fit. It's not like, you know, like a glove kind of fit. Uh, but yeah, it fits most ears. And the nozzle is inserted uh, with a perforated um, filter, okay? So this, this is actually pretty small, right? It's not, it's not, it's medium size. I wouldn't say it's the small size in terms of the, the shell. So it fits most ears, especially girls as well. So uh, if you're a girl, this IEM may fit you, right? And it goes like so, okay? And that's pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. I would say it, it goes into my ear, but it doesn't go all the way in um, because partly because you know, this angle of it, the angle of the uh, overall nozzle, and because of the shallow uh, nozzle, the length of the nozzle, 
So, yeah, it doesn't give me a good seal, but uh, it doesn't go all the way in to give me a secure fit. And the, cab the cable, in terms of ear hooks, it does try to tug uh, the earphone out of my ear. Okay? Right, so now let's talk about the technical performance of these earphones. Now, $120, you may think, a single dynamic driver, uh, how good can this sound? I would say it's actually pretty all right, all right, for $120. Uh, in terms of the overall technical performance, it's above average, or above average. When it comes to resolution, it's above average, above that $120 price point, I would say. Uh, and the sound stage is actually really wide. Very airy type of sound stage. It doesn't feel uh, closed in, and it doesn't feel small. In fact, it's a very big sound stage very wide and uh, spaced out yeah instruments do have that uh, overall layers as well so you do get uh, your vocals being nicely separated uh, in front and then you have, at the back of her you have that drums percussions uh, instruments on the sides uh, and those kind of things so in terms of the overall uh, layers and overall sound separation this is actually very good right uh, in terms of details wise, details I would say is lacking a little bit for that department. Uh, but you know, it, when when I listen to it, I do get a bit of nuance uh, for the details. Not entirety, but it's still there. Okay. So overall technical performance for this NM20, I would say is average. All right. Now let's talk about the tone and timbre for this. And this I would say. It's a little bit of a mix, right? This has got a bit of a warmth, but it's very light in terms of the overall tonal balance. It's light. It's kind of mature in a way, in a sense, it's mature, but uh, it's on a lighter note, okay? So in terms of the fun factor to it, it's not really fun, okay? It's more of a serious note. It's more of a reference note. But then again, it's... A bit of a beefy type of reference, right? Beefy type of a uh, base level. Okay, so I, I would say in terms of the overall uh, tonal balance for this, it's heavy. Uh, it's not too warm. It's uh, it's quite light and lean as well at the same time. Okay, now sound signature. So uh, let me just post my graph somewhere up here to show you guys. And as you can see from the graph, the reason why I say that this earphones is more of a, a mature, uh, lean uh, type of sound is because uh, it does have that beef at the base level, right? Uh, but then if you look at the uh, treble, the treble is a little bit on the spicy side, right? It's spicy uh, and it's also quite bright, right? But without the sibilance, but it's bright. Uh, so let's start off with the sub bass. The sub bass is actually, if you look at it, it's comp I'm comparing to the Harman target. It's actually quite a bit above the Harman target. And as you go along uh, to the mid bass, it actually stays above. So I would say bass wise, it's uh, forward in a sense, it's forward. But uh, in terms of the bass notes, uh, especially the sub bass, it doesn't carry much weight. It's pretty light and thin. Uh, when it comes to the sub bass, the rumble is there, but uh, you don't get that um, heaviness to the, the rumble. Uh, the mid bass is actually punchy, is impactful, but I don't feel that weight to it, to that punch as well. It's not a weighted punch, it's a very lean punch. But then again, it's actually quite forward and it, it sounds, it muddles out the mids as well. That's the reason why when I say, you know, the details is not fantastic. So it muddles out the, the, the mids as well, just a little bit, uh, but it's still all right. It, it's, it's quite a muddy base, but it's lean. Okay, so yeah, it, it's, it's quite odd when it comes to this this uh, LM20. So overall, I would say the base wise is uh, is forward, it's uh, pronounced, but it's quite lean. Okay, now uh, mids are recessed, as you can see from the graph, and um, instruments, vocals, especially female vocals, they sound really bright and really forward and really intense. Um, but uh, again, you get veiled by the bass. So you have that bass, which is a bit more prominent uh, in the overall frequency, 
uh, and when the bass comes in, it get it drowns out the mids, right? So instruments gets drowns out. You, you get their vocals as well. So it's kind of a mix for me, right? And uh, overall, I would say female vocals sounds better on this tuning. Male vocals they sound a little bit like lasted, uh, not very authoritative, um, in this tuning. Okay, so if you look at the pin again, right to the treble, and that is why I'm saying that this earphone is a bit more of a spicy kind of earphone. And don't get me wrong, it's it's not bad right it's not bad it's actually pretty uh intense and if you're the type whereby you like that intensity especially you know uh from for the asia side uh then this is actually a very very good earphones for you because why you get that intensity if you are doing reference audio mixing uh and um acoustics i guess this is actually a very very clean and very clear and pronounced and intense type of uh, uh, treble for you, right? For me, I find it a little bit too spicy for my liking, okay? Now, when it comes to the treble, treble is bright, all right? And as you can see from the graph, it goes beyond bright. It's, it's beyond that Harman target uh, when it comes to the overall upper upper treble, all right? So the presence-wise is very bright, very tr um, as you can see that peak there, that peak will tell you that this earphone is very bright. So when I listen to it, it's bright, it's intense, uh, it's mm, very hot, right? Very hot. So uh, when I listen to it, especially for um, like cymbals, hi-hats, um, female vocals, guitars, they, they sound really hot to me. And when it comes to the roll-off of the treble, I would say it's, uh, it tries to linger, you know, tries to linger pretty long. Uh, before it actually rolls off. So it's not natural to a point whereby, you know, I'm not saying that it is um, distorted. It's not distortion. I don't hear distortion. Uh, but when cymbal crashes, uh, they roll off. I would say it doesn't sound like it's rolling off naturally. Okay. Right. So that's my overall review for this NM20 from NF Accused. Now, um, who is this earphones for? Now, this is actually for a very niche uh, group of people. And it's for those people who have that taste uh, for treble. So if you love treble, this is a very, very good earphone to go for. $120, very little distortion. Uh, if you like to listen to a lot of Japanese um, electronic music, this is a very good earphone to go for, right? Uh, but if you're... Someone like me, all right? You're some. I'm somewhere on a bench, by the way. I just just to let you know, I'm somewhere on a bench regarding this earphone. I like it for certain genre of music, like Japanese anime, uh, audio music. Uh, but when it comes to my usual pop songs, um, and my heavy metal and my R and Bs, uh, this didn't make the cut, right? For my classical, this actually did really well. So I'm, I'm on the fence for this, right? It, it really depends on what type of music I listen to, uh, which, you know, I, I will think about this earphone and then I'll pull it out because this is actually very unique in terms of the tuning. It's bright, it's spicy. So when I want to, you know, listen to a specific genre of music, I'll think, oh, okay, NM2. I'll, I'll pull this out and I'll listen to my tracks with this earphone, all right? Uh, this is not for beginners, definitely not. So if you're a beginner, please don't buy this earphone. But if you're an amateur or you're an expert and you have been in this hobby for the longest time, then you might want to try out, you know, try something different, different flavor. Uh, and this might surprise you. It depends on your listening, you know, your collection of music and your listening preference as well. Okay. And I would say $120 is not, it's, it's a little bit above price yeah above the price point but i would say if you know you can find a good deal uh this may be a good buy all right and that's it for my overall review for this nf Acous nm20 i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i hope you guys have a great day ahead and i'll see you again in my next video cheers